Open your books, page 110. Look at the first part. Choose a community worker. So, first of all, let's listen to the audio. Let's play a guessing game called three, two, one. Answer on the first clue and you get three points. Answer on the second clue and you get two points. Answer on the last clue and you get one point. Try to guess the job as fast as you can. Who wants to give clues first? I'll go. Okay. The first clue is she protects us. Is she a doctor? No, she isn't. The second clue is she wears a blue uniform. Is she a police officer? Yes, she is. Great! You get two points. Now, let's play with two teams. Okay, in this listening, the girl and the boy are playing a game called 321. The girl is giving clues and the boy is trying to guess. So, let's look. She is giving the first clue. She says she protects us. And the second clue is she wears a blue uniform. And then the other girl finds it. She says, is she a police officer? And that's the true answer. So, at home, please write about the community worker. For example, a doctor, chef, you can write about firefighter or someone else. Then, answer the questions and write the job. For example, for a doctor, you can say, how does she help us? help us she takes care for us you can write then you can say what does she wear and you can answer the questions by saying she is wearing white uniform okay now let's look at our box Talking about jobs. To describe a job, say what the person does. Say where they work, give details about what they wear or the things they use. You can act out actions if you don't know the verbs. Okay, let's look at part two. Listen, who is the worker? Then write. While listening, please complete these parts. Let's start. Let's play a guessing game called three, two, one. Answer on the first clue and you get three points. Answer on the second clue and you get two points. Answer on the last clue and you get one point. Try to guess the job as fast as you can. Who wants to give clues first? I'll go. Okay. The first clue is, she protects us. Is she a doctor? No, she isn't. The second clue is, she wears a blue uniform. Is she a police officer? Yes, she is. Great. You get two points. Now, let's play with two teams. Okay, who is the worker? Yes, the worker is the police officer. Let's go on. The girl says, I'll go. The first clue is she, she protects us. The boy says, is she a doctor? No, she isn't. The second clue is, she wears a blue uniform. Is she a police officer? Yes, she is. 
Okay, now look at the next page. Writing personal titles. For a man, use Mr. For a woman, use Miss, Mrs. or Miss. For a doctor, use Doctor. These are the titles and you put these titles in front of the last name. Now, look at the paragraph. Listen and follow. Mr. Williams is a builder. He builds stores and schools. His buildings are big and safe. Our new school looks awesome. Mr. Williams helps our community. Okay, read and circle the personal titles. Let's circle the personal titles together. The first one is Mr. And this is the same, Mr. These are the personal titles and we put it in front of the last name. So this is the last name. So you can write here, Mr. Williams. Mr. is the title. Williams is the last name. Job. What is his job? He built stores and schools, so he's a well done. He's a builder. And the responsibility. What is he doing? He built stores and schools. This is his responsibility. Okay, please write the things on the chart below. Okay, let's look at the second activity. Choose a community worker that I said before, for example, doctor, firefighter, chef. Make a similar chart in your notebook. For example, you can use the title Mr. or Mrs. and you write the last name of the person, you write the job of this person and you write the responsibilities. What does he or what does she do? Then you can draw a picture to illustrate your text. For example, if you write here doctor's name and like doctor for job, you can draw picture. It's up to you. Okay, let's go on. Page 112. Listen to the song and write the jobs. Then sing along. Let's start. The first day of school, the principal says to me, Be good and have a great day. On the second day of school, my teacher says to me, Learn your ABCs and be good and have a great day. On the third day of school, the food server says to me, Eat your lunch, learn your ABCs, The fourth day of school, the janitor says to me, Please pick up your trash, eat your lunch, learn your ABCs, and be good and have a great day. On the fifth day of school, the bus driver says to me, Okay, there are five different jobs. Let's find them. 
The first one is principal, the head of the school. And the second one is the teacher. The third one is the food server who is giving us food in school. And the fourth one is janitor. And the last one is bus driver. Okay, let's go on. Look at our box. Connecting words to your life. Ask yourself, who works at my school? What are their names? What do they do? For example, the bus driver is Mr. Wilson. He drives us to school. So please think about it. Think about the people who work in our school. Write their names and write their responsibilities. For example, the bus driver, the bus driver is Mr. Wilson, and Mr. Wilson drives us to school. Okay, let's look at the second part. Match the job with what each person does. Okay, please complete it on your own. If you finish, let's control. How is principal? What is principal responsibility? Principal leads our school. He is the head of the school. Or she is the head of the school. Teacher. Teacher teaches our class. And food server. The food server serves food in the cafeteria. The janitor. The janitor cleans our school and the bus driver drives us the school bus. Drives us the school with the school bus. Okay. We learn five jobs. Please repeat with me. Bus driver, food server, janitor. Principal, teacher. And we learn five jobs verbs. Drive, lead, pick up, serve, and teach. Please write all the words we learn in your vocabulary notebook with the meanings. Okay. What are the names of the people who do the jobs in your school? Describe their jobs. So, I said this before. Please complete this part in your notebooks.